there's a number of factors as to why your lights could be off, but your neighbor across the street or behind you could still be on. A lot of the times the power can be fed from two completely separate areas. And in the case of where we're standing at right now, these houses are fed from what's known as the Hargis substation, which is at Fremont and Chestnut Expressway, roughly. Whereas these houses are fed from the Mill Street sub, which is right where Chestnut Expressway goes up and over the railroad tracks by 65 Highway. There's a little bit of distance between you know, here in Fremont and then here in 65 Highway. So on the main line itself, there's a lot of things that could impact that, be it trees, birds and squirrels, vehicle accidents. So there's a number of factors that can impact the power that these people are being fed from versus these people that are being fed from as well. Whenever we're trying to dissect an outage or investigate an outage, whenever it's a large outage, the troubleshooters will start at the substation and then work their way out on that main backbone line trying to find what could have caused that power outage. You might not see a city utilities truck in your neighborhood working, especially if it's a larger scale outage. And the reason for that is there's sometimes can be a considerable amount of distance between where you live and where the source of your power is from. So whenever it's something that's on the entire feeder, it could be nowhere near where you live just because you don't see a troubleshooter or a line crew in your immediate area, they are working to fix the power that is gonna be causing your outage. Even though we are almost fully deployed now with the AMI meters that do talk back and forth with us and tell us you know, when the lights are on, when the lights are off, always feel free to call and report your power outage. That will 100% ensure that we know that your power is out. Sometimes, especially in some of the larger scale storms, whenever we have trees that fall down in people's backyards and things like that, it's always helpful for the customer to take a picture of it and post it and send it to us on Facebook and tell us their location because then yeah, it helps us narrow it down a whole lot faster than us having to send a troubleshooter out, again, start at the sub and work his way out. If we know exactly where something happens at, yeah, feel free to send us that kind of information because it'll help us definitely get the lights on a lot faster. We work for the community to try and restore power and keep the lights on. And we're going to try and get people on as quickly as possible, but we're working around the clock to try and get that to happen. And crews are working 16 hour shifts on, eight hours off, and then coming back and working 16 more hours if need be. We are working to try and restore that power as quickly as possible because we all live here as well. We all have families that we want to go home to and we try to do it as safely and as quickly as possible.